General Hospital spoilers and updates tease Kristen Veganos has taken on the challenging task of replacing Haley Pulos as Molly Lansing Davis on General Hospital. As the daughter of Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Gron, and Rick Lansing, Rick Hurst, Molly is a beloved character who has grown up on screen. Haley Pulos' departure from the show followed her arrest on DUI charges. The actress was sentenced to 90 days in jail and has since been released. General Hospital faced a difficult decision in finding a suitable replacement for Pulos. After several unsuccessful attempts, Kristen Veganos was cast in the role. Since her arrival, Veganos has quickly become immersed in a dramatic storyline involving Molly's surrogate, Christina, and the tragic loss of their baby. Veganos has expressed her excitement about working with the experienced cast of General Hospital. She recently shared a memorable experience of going head-to-head -head with Maurice Bernard, who plays Sonny Corinthos. Veganos described the scene as epic and a privilege to be part of. While there were initial concerns about Veganos taking over the role, it seems that viewers are gradually accepting her as Molly. Her strong performances and chemistry with other characters have helped her establish herself in the role. As Molly continues to navigate her complex storyline and interact with the established characters of General Hospital, it will be interesting to see how her character evolves. It remains to be seen if Haley Pulos will ever return to the show, but for now, Kristen Veganos is successfully carrying on the legacy of Molly Lansing Davis. Kristen Veganos had the tough job of taking over as Molly from fan favorite Haley Pulos. The General Hospital newbie shared, what it is like working with soap vets. Keep reading for all the details. Haley Pulos debuted as Molly Lansing Davis on General Hospital in 2009 when she was just 11 years old. The character is the offspring of Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Gron, and Rick Lansing Rick Hurst, and the younger half-sister of Christina Kate Monsey. Viewers watched Haley grow up on screen as Molly. Fans of the show were shocked when the actress, was arrested in 2023 on multiple DUI charges after a wrong-way crash on a freeway in California. Haley Pulos left her job at the ABC Soap shortly after her arrest. The actress, 26, was sentenced to 90 days in jail. She was released last month. General Hospital struggled to find the right actress to take over as Molly Lansing Davis after Haley Pulos' departure. Holiday Mia Kriegel stepped into the role temporarily after the actress left. Brooke N. Smith was cast in the role next, but fans revolted, and she was fired after just two months. Kristen Veganos took over the role of Molly in September 2023 and quickly found herself in a huge storyline. Molly enlisted her half-sister, Christina, as a surrogate, but Christina bonded with the baby. Sadly, the baby died after Christina fell out of a high-story window. The two siblings are currently at odds over resurfaced court documents that revealed Christina's plans to sue for custody of the baby. There were rumors that Haley Pulos might return to the soap after her release from jail. But it looks like General Hospital is sticking with the newbie, and viewers are finally accepting the actress as Molly. Kristen Veganos isn't new to the acting. She has a long list of credits on her IMDb page. However, the GH role was her first foray into soap operas. She spoke to Soap Opera Digest recently about what it's like working with some of the more experienced soap stars on the ABC soap. One recent scene saw Molly go head-to-head -head with her uncle Sonny, played by soap vet Maurice Bernard. Kristen Veganos opened up about that experience. It was so fun to read that in the script because it almost feels like you've got to earn the right to yell at Maurice Bernard, Sonny, to yell at Sonny, like he is the guy. And so to take out the frustration that Molly has been feeling at everybody on him was so fun and such an epic moment. As General Hospital's Molly, Kristen Veganos is getting to showcase her character's rage toward, well, a lot of different people in Port Charles in the wake of Christina losing the baby she was carrying for Molly and TJ. The actress feels that expressing Molly's upset is a richer experience now that she's been on the show for a while. It's funny because my first couple of weeks on the show was the surrogate losing the baby, which was take one of Molly trying to have a baby, Vagano's notes. So I pretty quickly got introduced to the intensity and the workload and being ready with the tears on take one. I feel grateful looking back now that I was introduced to that all right away. 
But now I do feel really settled in, and it's fun to compare that moment to this moment because I feel so much more connected to the cast, I feel so much more settled into the role and the environment here, and now I really have history. Acting is all about imagination, but the longer you've spent with your castmates and worked on your storyline, you have less to imagine because you've actually lived through it all, so the betrayal feels deeper and the love feels deeper. And luckily, all my castmates that I work with a lot, we all really get along, so there's real love and freedom there to actually play and really yell at each other and really feel all the things. That is especially true when it comes to clashing on screen with General Hospital sister Kate Monsi Christina, which she seems likely to be doing a lot of for the foreseeable future. It's been such a treat, Bagano smiles. Kate and I have become such close friends since I've joined the show. It's one of those really lucky situations where we have so much love and trust and care for each other that we can really go there, and we don't need to hold back. We overlap our dialogue and we step on each other's toes and we allow it to get a little messy and ugly, which is what it really would look like between sisters. It just feels so organic, and we're both so grateful to have each other. I mean, if you want to fight with someone you've just met, great, but if you want to fight with your sister, it's got to look like it's real. Family fights like no one else. And so we're really lucky that we feel like we can really go there with each other. And it's fun. I mean, it's fun to be happy together, and it's fun to play friends because we are friends, but it's more fun to be angry. We're loving it. Brushing off all that animosity when the cameras stop rolling is easy for the actors. Reports Veganos, whenever we finish emotional scenes together, we hug and say, I'm so grateful to be doing this with you because I know we can let loose and get real and really be in the moment. Veganos also had a blast when Molly went off on her uncle, Sonny Corinthos, at the hospital in the wake of Christina's fall. It was so fun to read that in the script because it almost feels like you've got to earn the right to yell at Maurice Bernard, Sonny, to yell at Sonny. Like he's the guy. And so to take out the frustration that Molly has been feeling at everybody on him was so fun and such an epic moment. The way that it was written, I really loved because it was powerful, just unleashing this anger, and he doesn't even really respond or fight back, you know? which, selfishly, was kind of fun because he had to just take it. Molly was in this horrible moment, and it wouldn't have made it better for him to fight back with me. But yeah, it felt like a privilege, honestly. Maurice was great, he's such a good sport, and it was fun to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I'd actually love it if next time he does fight back, and we really go at it. I don't think Molly and Sonny are going to get along for a little while, so I think we might get that chance. One of Vaganoza's most searing scenes surrounding the loss of the baby was Molly laying into Ava while she was behind bars at the PCPD. Mora West, Ava, was great, the actress says of her scene partner. She's going through so much as this character right now, but I gotta say, my heart, like, snapped in pieces when I read the scenes that she and I did together because how brutal to literally just read her the autopsy of a dead infant and force her to sit with that. It was so wild to perform those scenes and just try to be strong throughout them, because I think Molly did not want to be emotional in that moment. She did not want to be sad. She wanted to be strong and force this woman to hear her out, and Ava was pleading with me to stop, and I just won't. I have a lot of respect and appreciation for Mora for just sticking through that and suffering through me reading this to her, because it's brutal. Man, she's such an awesome, awesome lady, and she really entertains me on this show whenever she's on screen. I think she does a fantastic job with this character, and whether you perceive Ava to be a villain or not, I think she plays a great villain Molly is definitely vilifying her, and Molly definitely sees her that way at this point, so I'm embracing that perspective, but I just love her work on the show.